The typical middle to upper middle class household occupies more than 2,000 square feet of floor space, owns at least two cars, a couple of couches, numerous chairs, beds and tables, a washer and dryer, more than two televisions, a VCR and has cable. The kitchen contains a conventional oven, a microwave, a frost-free refrigerator, a blender, a coffee maker, a tea kettle, a food processor, and so many pots, pans, dishes, cups, glasses, storage containers, kitchen utensils, and pieces of flatware that they aren't even counted. Elsewhere in this house are a personal computer and a printer, telephones, an answering machine, a calculator, a stereo or CD player, musical instruments, and many pieces of art. In addition to paintings and reproductions, there are decorative items such as vases, plates, and statuettes, photographs in frames, and knickknacks. In the bathroom are a hair dryer, a scale, perhaps an electric toothbrush or shaver, and cabinets overflowing with towels, shampoos, conditioners, face creams, and other cosmetics. The closets are stuffed with clothes and shoes of all types, dresses, suits, pants, shirts, sweaters, coats, hats, boots, sneakers, flats, pumps, walking shoes, patent leathers, and loafers. And don't forget the jewelry. In addition to watches, the diamond ring, and other high-value items, there's usually a large collection of costume jewelry, bead necklaces, bracelets, and earrings, earrings, earrings. The family room is filled with books, videos, tapes, CDs, magazines, and more photos and knickknacks. The floors are covered with rugs or carpet, and throughout the house are scattered other pieces of furniture, accented perhaps with dried or silk flowers. Stored in the garage or basement is all the sports equipment, such as bicycles and skis, as well as luggages and totes, lawn and garden tools. In addition to all these durable products, households spend heavily on services such as childcare, movies, restaurants and bars, hotel stays, airplane trips, haircuts, massages, visits to Disney World, lawyer bills, insurance premiums, interest payments, and sometimes rental on the storage space where even more stuff resides. If you are a typical consumer, you did not always have so much. There was probably a time in your adult life when you could fit everything you owned into your car and drive off into the sunset. Now you need professionals to transport your possessions. <laughs>